Hello everyone. Welcome to Amma Sapti Fabcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to delete Azure subscriptions and Azure Active Directory tenant. When an Azure tenant is deleted in Azure Active Directory, all resources in the organization are also deleted. Prepare your organization by minimizing its associated resources before you delete. Only a global administrator in Azure Active Directory can delete an Azure AD organization from the Azure portal. We cannot delete an organization in Azure Active Directory until it passes several checks. These checks reduce the risk that deleting an Azure AD organization negatively affects user access such as the ability to sign into Microsoft 365 or access resources in Azure. For example, if the organization associated with a subscription is unintentionally deleted, users can't access the Azure resources for that subscription. So let's see the steps on how to delete Azure subscriptions and Azure AD tenant. For that, we need to access and log in to the Azure portal. Sign in to the Azure portal with an account that is global administrator for your organization. We can access Azure portal using the URL HTTPS colon double slash portal.azure.com Under Manage Azure Active Directory, click on View. On Tenants Overview page, select Manage Tenants. We have used this msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com Azure AD Tenant in Intune video series. But now, the trial subscription is expired. So in the last video, we have created new Azure Active Directory tenant with the name msfsurat v2.onmicrosoft.com. Now, we are going to delete our old Azure AD tenant named msfsurat.onmicrosoft.com. Select the checkbox for the tenant that you want to delete. In our case, it is msfsurat. At top bar, click on Delete. If our organization doesn't pass one or more checks, we will get a link to more information on how to pass those checklists. After you pass all checks, you can delete the Azure tenant. In our case, certain checks are not passed, so we need to follow those instructions to resolve the issue first. First, we need to delete our users. Click on Delete All Users link. If you are syncing your on-premises Active Directory with Azure Active Directory, you need to disable this so that it disconnects your users from the sync. Otherwise, you cannot delete your sync users. I have created a video on how to disable Azure AD Sync. Link to that video is given in the description area. In our case, we are not syncing with our on premises Active Directory. So we will delete all users except the admin account we are currently signing. Select the checkbox next to each user. At top bar, select Delete. Select Yes. We can see the confirmation message, four users were deleted. But still, the users are listed here. So we need to wait for a few seconds. After that, the users will be disappear from all users page. Let me click on refresh. Okay, now we have only one user account, which is our admin account. Let's click on delete tenant MSF Surat. Click on Refresh and now we can see the check for users is passed. Next, 
click on delete LinkedIn application link. Click on yes to proceed. We get the confirmation message. Again, I'm going to click on refresh. Okay, we have a green status as well for LinkedIn application. Next, click on delete all app registrations link. Click on all applications. Click on the application name, which is P2P server. At top bar, click on delete. Click on delete and wait for the confirmation message. Again, click on delete tenant MSF Surat. Click on refresh. Uh, we don't have the green status for app registration yet. So I think we need to wait a little longer. Uh, let me click on refresh. Okay, now we have a green status as well. Click on get permission to delete Azure resources link. Under access management for Azure resources, toggle the switch to yes. This will give access to current user on all Azure subscriptions and management groups in this tenant. At top bar, click on save to save the changes. Wait for the confirmation message. Successfully updated properties for tenant MSF Surat. Again, click on delete tenant. Click on refresh. Let me again click on refresh. Now let me click on this link again. Okay, we have assigned the permission. Click on refresh. Perfect. Now we have a green status for Microsoft Azure subscription as well. When we configured our Azure Active Directory organization, we might have also activated license-based subscriptions for our organization. To avoid accidental data loss, we can't delete an organization until the subscriptions are fully deleted. The subscriptions must be in a deprovisioned state to allow organization deletion. An expired or cancelled subscription moves to the disabled state and the final stage is the deprovisioned state. We can use the Microsoft Admin Center to put a subscription into the deprovisioned state for deletion. So sign into Microsoft 365 Admin Center with an account that is a global administrator in your organization. Open a new tab and type URL https colon double slash admin dot microsoft dot com and press enter key to access Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Select Billing and click on Your Products. We can see our Enterprise Mobility plus Security E5 trial subscription in disabled state. Click on Enterprise Mobility plus Security E5 trial. At top, we can see the message, this subscription is now disabled until this date. Under subscription status, click on delete subscription. Click on delete subscription again. We can see one pop-up message. I understand the impact of deleting a subscription and I have the authority to delete this subscription to Enterprise Mobility plus Security E5 trial. So it's basically asking you for the confirmation that are you sure you want to delete this subscription? Click on yes. Wait for the process to complete. Here we can see the message. Enterprise Mobility plus Security E5 trial has been cancelled successfully. Now the subscription is marked for deletion. The subscription enters the deprovisioned state 72 hours later. All data for the subscription is permanently deleted in 3 days. You can reactive the subscription during the 3-day period 
if you change your mind. So we need to wait for 72 hours and then we can delete our Azure tenant. So I'm going to pause the video recording. After three days, we will again start it. After we have deleted a subscription in our organization and 72 hours have been passed, sign in to the Azure Active Directory Admin Center again. Confirm that no required actions or subscriptions are blocking our organization deletion. You should be able to successfully delete your Azure AD organization. Let's check that. Click on Azure Active Directory. On our Tenants Overview page, select Manage Tenants. Select the checkbox for the tenant that you want to delete. Let me select MSF Surat. And then select Delete. We can see we have passed all the checks. Now we can delete our Azure tenant. Select Delete to complete the deletion process. Wait for the confirmation message. Successfully deleted tenant named MSF Surat. So we can see the tenant is deleted successfully. After deleting Azure AD tenant, uh, let me click on dashboard. Here we can see we don't have any information. If I click on Azure Active Directory, then there is nothing. So after deleting the Azure AD tenant, now we need to sign out from this account to complete the Azure AD deletion process successfully. So that concludes the video on how to delete Azure subscriptions and Azure AD tenant using Azure AD Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.